Tyler Duffy pitched a wonderful ball game against the Houston Astros. Got the win. Six effective innings. Showing a better, you thought, fastball command and an improved breaking ball. Well, let's hear from uh, Tyler about that. I know. Tyler, we got an opportunity to say congratulations, first of all, but. Uh, you know, you you had been struggling a little bit. Now, last night's ball game, it just seemed like you attacked the strike zone right off the get-go with your fastball. Yeah, and that's uh, been the big thing. It's and not necessarily just attacking, but you know, making good pitches early in the counts. You know, I was getting in trouble. I was getting ahead of guys, but I was leaving stuff over the plate. Um, you know, and I finally, you know, set set up my off speed with my fastball. Um, you know, got some good results yesterday. You had a wonderful start last year against Houston. You didn't pitch. Against them down in Houston in May, but you got to start against them last night. Is that just a coincidence, or did you feel a little extra adrenaline rush last night? Um, no, I mean, I, you know, it's kind of coincidence, but they kind of, you know, play into my strengths. You know, they're a pretty aggressive lineup, top to bottom. Um, a lot of guys like to swing the bat, um, you know, swing it hard too. So it, uh, you know, they can get after some people, but then, you know, if you pitch them right, you know, you can get through them uh, and have a, a decent start out of it. Tyler, anything that you and Neil Allen work between starts? Because we get a lot of people, you know, the kids that want to be big leaguers like yourself one day. Right. Is there something that you really isolated on because of the struggles you had, and then you, then you made the adjustment last night? Yeah, we worked a lot on my tempo. Um, you know, I talked about that. I worked on it last year in AAA. You know, my bullpens, I was working real slow and methodical. Um, you know, and I finally got back to that on the mound in the game. Um, you know, and that slowed me down, allowed me to get on top of things a lot better. You know, my breaking ball is a lot better yesterday. My location of my fastball is better. You know, it's it all comes with that. So, my biggest thing is just slowing down. You know, you're not in a hurry to get rid of the ball. Um, you know, nobody's going anywhere. You just got to throw it over the plate and let them uh, let them uh, get themselves out. That was kind of my scouting report last night because I know I had a pretty good curveball. Your curveball. If that left shoulder flies open, it's tough to really have good control of that. Not only the curveball, also the fastball. Absolutely, yeah. Because once I, you know, that front side leaks out, um, it's really hard to get on top of the ball and locate. You know, especially when I'm trying to throw sinkers to my arm side. Um, you know, and keep the four seam on the outside corner to uh, righties. It's um, it gets tough if you're not behind the ball. Um, you know, and that's why I think I've been struggling with a little bit. You know, and uh, felt good yesterday, and so hope I can keep it rolling. What was nice about last night first inning you threw eight pitches to get three outs and yeah. third inning you used seven so that allows you to go deeper in the ball game. Absolutely you know and that's that's my main goal and that's what's been so frustrating for me is you know I know our, our bullpen has had to work a little bit um, you know and then my last two starts before this one you know I didn't get deep at all you know it's uh, second inning maybe the beginning of the third inning um, you know and I really tax them and you know that's not fair to them um, for me to go out and do that and, you know so I was really frustrated about that you know because we won some of those games um, but just me going two innings that's not acceptable. Uh, one more question for me you know what Tyler last year everything seemed to come easy 10 starts you were five and one this year you know you had your peaks and valleys what have you learned. Um, slowing the game down okay. um, that's the biggest thing you know I heard about that a lot you know last year I was just kind of flying by the seat of my pants you know uh, just came up here and just trying to hang out and you know pitch in games and oh oh good um, toss. wow do well and uh, you know now I'm, I'm kind of having to settle into my own little groove here and you know guys are adjusting to me um, you know so I've had to adjust back and uh, you know I think I'm in the process of doing that and you know it's a uh, it's part of it. Hey, uh, one question you mentioned earlier about your tempo out there. You could learn a lot by watching this guy. Yeah. Santiago catches it and throws it, man. Yeah, he's he works quick. Um, you know, it, it, it works out well. You know, in my case, you know, it, if, if I get going a little too quick, I think I get a little wound up sometimes. So I got to got to take a breath every once in a while. <laughs> I, I think what you're talking about tempo, too, is not rushing. You know, exactly. That balance point. Stay tall so you can let your arm catch up to your body. Right, right. And yeah, you can get the ball and be ready to go um, as soon as you want. But it's just once you start that, you know, your motion and your delivery, there's no rush to get to home plate. You know, it's 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 not going anywhere. The hitter's not going anywhere. Um, you know, I just have to take that extra split second to really get the ball um, where I want it. Weak little pop up to Bauer. The one, two, three inning for Hector Santiago. Go. Kitchen shot right there. And we thank last night's <laughs> starter and winner, Tyler Duffy. Nice job. Tyler, thank you. Thank you. you.